you doing, Lulu? You gruffin? You gruffin at your ball? Bring the ball here. Come here, Lulu. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. keep drying out I am just I'm just so excited it took five hours for people to really start noticing the shop but after that I got two sales already and it's already three o'clock so I released the fabrics at um, at eight o'clock then by one I had my first sale and then now it's three and I already had a second sale. I'm so fun. I'm so happy. We might even get to our goal of having 10 sales this month. I am hoping, I'm hoping to, I'm hoping to bits that we get 10 people to come and buy some fabric. So I decided to celebrate. That's what I was showing you before is, um, <laughs> I was telling my friends that um, I stepped into a fabric store and my credit card passed out. <laughs> Like my credit card just fainted because um, I got a little excited about all the spring fling stuff that was like all the spring fling I've been making. I got really excited and I bought myself uh, quite a bit of fabric that's all springy and I was really happy and um, I'm actually sewing again. How exciting. Oh my god I haven't sewn in like five months I feel. I don't even know when my last review was for a sewing. We can look it up real quick. I'm gonna look it up. Hold up. Yes, my last sewing tutorial was actually five months ago. Oh my God, I feel so bad. But I've just not been in the mood because I just felt really sad. But I figured out a way to kind of fix some of the problems I've been having with these free patterns. One thing that I don't like is people just show up onto the channel, grab the free pattern and run away. And it doesn't really do anything to help support the channel. If they subscribe, yeah, that helps the channel. Um, but what really, really helps the channel is actually watching the videos. So what I'm going to do is start hiding the password in the videos. 
and password, well, first of all, I'm gonna password protect the links to the, to the patterns and then password protect them so that they have to find the password in the video. So they'll have to watch the video and find the password and then they can download the pattern. So I'll at least get some view shit from them. So I'm excited about that. And I just have to get that set up. I am working on getting a website done so I can host those patterns and password protect them. And I kind of want it to be like a hub where they can get their, they can watch their tutorial, get the password, get the pattern, and that's it. If that's all they want, that's where they can go. Um, I know that my channel has a lot of stuff that some people aren't probably excited about, like my vlogs, my podcasts, and my store updates. I'm sure there's people out there that just doesn't care. They just want the patterns. And that's fine, but I really have to start thinking about the health of my, my YouTube channel and it's just not healthy. So I just, I just really need to fix some things. It's going to be a little bit cumbersome, but it would benefit the channel and help support it in the long run so that I can give them more content, more patterns, more free stuff. So that's what it is. You gotta, you gotta share some love to get some love. So there we go. So. I went to the store and I bought some more fabric and that has really motivated me to sew. Again, I really needed that boost. I mean, I have you would think having your own custom doll fabric means that you'll be more excited to sew, but that is product and I can't use product. Product is for people. I mean, I have set aside one of each of those fabrics for, you know, marketing purposes. I've given away, well, I set aside two, 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 ah, I set aside two of the um, fabrics, two, two units of each fabric for marketing purposes. One went to the fabric review boxes and I gave it away to you. Then two, I have, yes, one for myself, but I don't really want to use it right now. I just don't have any, you know, feelings for it right now. So. I'm really in the spring mode. I mean, I have spring fabrics, I have flowers, I have bunnies, but probably because I've been looking at it so long for like several months now that I just don't have the same excitement that I used to have. It's kind of like old fabric that's been in your closet for a long time. You're kind of just like, oh, you're already over it. So I got some new spring fabrics, uh, mainly because I really wanted to make some clothes for a sort of, uh, I don't want to say it because I know she watches the videos, but it's a little bit of a surprise. I am making an Easter pa pack for one of my Sunny members. Well, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's Jamie's Sunny members and I'm part of that group and I have made, um, an outfit for someone on that group and I have made her I bought a gift but I also want to the thing about gift giving for me when it comes to like either happy meal or a gift for like an, a special occasion is I will buy them something even a family member I will buy them something but I have to make them something too like for Christmas I made a bunch of ornaments for my family like I handmade it them I designed them in illustrator then I actually cut them on a laser cutter sanded them myself put the little strings on it and then I distributed it to everybody in the family. They were really excited about that. So that was my personal gift for my family. And I think having a personal gift, something that you made, just really helps, you know, show that you care. So this gift for my Easter is going to have something I've made. I, I did the same thing, if you don't know, if you haven't seen Crafty Kitty's channel, uh, Little Crafty Kitty, um, I actually made her um, and a little case, a little spaceship case to go with all the gifts that I gave her. So when I give someone a gift, I like to make them something that can go with it or at least something that they can use with it. So I'm really excited and I am just wanting to sew. I'm, I'm actually kind of cramped right now <laughs> because of everything that was going on with the store update. I now have, uh, I now have a lot to clean up. So I'm going to clean up and do some sewing.
All right guys, sorry about the noise. I am printing up some advertisements. I want to send out to a store in the hopes that they'll actually distribute them. I'm not sure if they will, but I would rather have them on hand just in case. I'm so tired, but I wanted to show you the fabrics. I have Barbie in the background. She's been my mascot as of late, and I have my Blythe body, which actually took me a lot longer than I expected to find. I haven't played with Blythe in five, year, five months now, and Finding her body was just like, oh my god, where did you go? So I have my Blythe for reference. We have this pattern. I'm sorry about the lighting. I'm doing what I can. Which is, this pattern right here is a mermaid scale pattern. It's super cute. I love it. Then we have this paint splatter kind of pattern. It's super cute too. Then I have a polka dot with tiny polka dots. I love it. I put all of these colors together. This is actually a different thing. It's another one that I wanted to put together. We have this flower piece, which is what started it. I really like this flower. So I added some polka dots to bring out some of that. Um, so I added the polka dots to bring out some of the pink, the light pinks here. And then after that, I brought in the yellow to match the yellow flowers. I'm sorry if you can't really see, I'm trying my best. But I brought out the yellow to bring the yellow flowers. And then I brought in the darker pink. The darker pink is also to match the darker flowers in the fabric. So they're all supposed to match this fabric and then I put them together like so. And you have a bit of a kaleidoscope. So I thought these were kind of cute. Not sure what I'm going to use them for, but we will see. Put these over to the side. I got two yards each of some medium dark and some medium light fabric. They're pretty similar, like one's slightly bluer than the other, one's more washed out. Um, but I really like them. I got two yards, they're super thin and would make really great doll fabric. I'm actually considering purchasing the whole bolt one day and selling it on my site because I can't find fabric as thin as this and it doesn't come it doesn't come on sale very often at the store. Sometimes it's very go it's gone because it's just it's so useful and it just gets sold so quickly and then they don't restock it so much at least not in my area. So that's why I got the beautiful um, Dimmin. All right, here we have what I call my muted tones. We have the burnt orange with the rainbows. That is really cute. It's also a little bit big, but it's still nice for the doll. Then I matched it with some circles because I think that makes a nice contrasting fabric. It's a nice peachy with a sort of um, pale, palish, uh, burnish, uh, sort of dusty rose on it. Then I found this fabric, which I thought was super cute. Oh my god. And it's just perfect for a Blythe doll, so I had to pick it up. Then I found this hearts, only because it matched a lot of this, especially this orange hearts and rainbows. How cute is that? I love it. Then I bought a nice kaleidoscope of stretchy fabrics. They are so pretty. I love the colors. They're all muted colors. They're all like what I call dusty colors, so I absolutely love it. Then I got some paper. This is going to be another diorama because I want to take pictures of my fabric, my little costumes, because I'm making little costumes right now. And I want to take pictures for a diorama, so I bought some things for that. So I'm going to make a diorama. I'm going to give it some, uh, fa some, what is it called? Some fur fabric for the carpet, which I think is going to be cute. I also have some stuff that I got from Daiso. I'll be right back. From Daiso, I got some matcha green tea uh, cream pandas, which are my nice little snack. And I got this cute little uh, pencil case with these little figurines on it. They had these little figurines, which are like Serrano figurines. And I absolutely adored it. So I bought stickers with the little figurines on them. I thought they were so cute. 
Oh my god, I am so happy. I love stationery. So I'm going to put these in my planner and make it look super cute. And then I got some Winnie the Pooh masking tape or washi tape. I also got some Tokidoki. I got some more of those, I guess, Sumiko Guru Rashi. Sumiko Gurashi little characters to go with my pencil case. Then we got some makeover sheets. These are self-adhesive little vinyl sheets. They were just a dollar. How nice is that? And I want to use them for my photography. I really need some like wooden textures and this is like a mahogany. It's a medium brown so I picked up two because I don't know how big they are. And then they had milk tea, royal milk tea. Oh my God, I picked up two because they were also a dollar. There's what, how many in there? I don't know how many are in each package, but I really had to have them. I love milk tea. I've never had the royal milk tea, um, but I heard it's very good. So I got some. Last two items was from Five Below. Is it Five Below? Yes, it was from Five Below. I got this sciency kit. Oh my God, look how cute that is. It's, well, it's not really cute. It's kind of creepy, but it's um, the interior of the um, skeleton. You have like the cardiovascular system, the bone system, the digestive system, the, um, the all the cool stuff. Because I do doll apothecary, I want to add more scientifically scientific things. And we're going to open this on camera today. So we're going to open this because I really want to see what this looks like as a stage for my doll. This was only $5. How cool is that? I also got this. I got a little microscope. It actually works. It has little slides and things, but it, it's just a toy. It's not a real, it was only $5 too. And it requires batteries, but I don't plan to actually use this as a toy. I'm using it as a display, but it was only $5. My boyfriend found them while we were like, like I found this, I was really interested in this. And then my boyfriend saw that there was a microscope and he's like, hey, that looks cool too. So of course I picked it up. I'm really happy with it. We're also gonna open this up and see what's inside. I got one more thing to show you and that's it. Okay, I lied. I have two things, but I wanted to show you this first. I got the little Chelsea can be. I'm really excited because she has the tape around her neck. She has a dress form, a sewing machine, little um, tomato, and I don't know what these are. I guess they're supposed to be like, um, like thread. Then she has a little piece of fabric, some scissors. It is really cute. We're also gonna open this up but I loved her because Barbie matches her so well. Oh my God. Our mate, well, I mean her skin's slightly different. She's a little darker, but I love her. Last, last I got these. I got four of them because I wanna make another diorama for Easter. I tried to do the same thing last year but I ended up not having enough time, so hopefully I can get enough time. These are little turfs. They're only 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters, so about 11 inches by 11, so about 12 by 12 actually. And they would make really cute dioramas. I really love it. These were also only a dollar a piece from Daiso, because I got these from Daiso, so I'm really happy with that. Daiso is really far away. I have to drive almost an hour to get there, but well, it's more like 45 minutes, but it, traffic is so bad. So I had to go there and uh, meet with my boyfriend and we did some shopping. All right, let's open these packages. I'm really excited. I'm gonna start with Chelsea. I'm really happy about her. I think she's super cute. I found her in a clamp bin. She wasn't much, I was really happy because she wasn't much and she looked exactly the way I would imagine her. I love her hair. 
I don't like the fact that they have her one of her hands bent at a 90 degree angle. That's just weird. But I do love the fact that she comes with the little um, measuring tape. I love her little skirt, her little booties. Oh, so cute. Then she has this, which I, I mean, I've already told you what's in there, but I want to show you again. The in a little dress form. It has a dress on it. I really wish it didn't. I wish it was just a regular dress form. I'm really excited about this, which is, I want to paint this. I want to make it look just like my machine. I think it is adorable. It is a little Chelsea machine. That is so cute. Little sewing machine. Definitely can use that. What are these tiny things? Do they go on here? No. Here? Where do they go? They have like a hole on them. I don't know what to do with them. But they definitely look like thread. Or at least what they're supposed to. It has sort of like a weird texture because it's not quite thread. It almost looks like bark. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Anyone in the comments know what these are supposed to be? They're like... They're like, I guess they're supposed to be thread, but I don't know. They have like a bark texture on it, not a thread texture. This is super cute. We have a tiny little, ah, we have a tiny little, um, what are they called? Tomatoes. Oops, where did you go? We got a little tomato. It's super cute. I don't like the fact that there is nothing on the back. It's actually flat. Uh, it's not gonna it's not gonna focus sorry guys it's flat and there's a hole in the back I really wish it was full and there wasn't a hole I think it, the hole just kind of takes away from it because um, I really want it to look more realistic and that's the thing about Barbie toys they are not super realistic so you gotta you gotta do with what you gotta do or you gotta deal with what you what you have we have a little piece of fabric you can put it under the sewing machine like she's sewing Then we have the scissors, like little scissors. Oh my God, super cute. Ah, I need to find a baggie for this so I don't lose it. I really want to use them as set, like little set designs. Oh look, my printer is done. Little set designs for um, like what I'm doing before I start sewing, which I think is great. So we have that. Next. We have the microscope. Isn't it cute? Oh my god. We can't believe I only spent five dollars on this. I am really happy. Ugh. It's so oh wow. It has foam in it. Oh, I guess you can see the foam in there, but I I wasn't paying attention to the foam. I was actually just paying attention to the microscope. There's even like instructions, which I don't care about. Oh, I love the little little Dexter stuff going on in here. This one has fibers that you can actually see, but I don't care for that. I'll actually probably get that one out there, clean it up, and make it look just like this so I can have little thing. Probably take this little sticker off. Probably needs a hot air. Oh, yeah, it's going to need some hot air. I already messed it up. But... And then we have a specimen slide label. Oh, cool. Nice. Tiny. Then we have a, another specimen. I think I will actually get rid of the stickers on this. I don't like the stickers. My graphic design senses say they look like shit. So I want to get rid of the stickers. They have little forceps, plastic forceps. Eh, I don't really care for them. It's fine. It's $5. This is what I wanted. Ah, this will make just even in the fact that it's even a toy just is just perfect for the doll apothecary. I think it will make some really great decorations when I'm doing um, just just pictures and things for my store. I think it would be really nice. I really hate these stickers so much. Oh my god, I messed it up again. I will take some uh, hair dryer and just hair dry it, get some heat. And then it'll come right off. But that is the microscope. E. Alright, last one. We have the skeletal man. 
or the human model squishy anatomy. Ooh, nice. Let's see, we have a little sticker here and a little sticker here. Five dollars and you got this. I spent, what was it, somewhere around 15 for a fake skeletal hand. Oh, I'm so mad. Oh, look, there's a stand in here. Oh, nice. At least his outsides aren't squishy. He does have something to hold it in. And he has plastic around some of his squishies. Oh, and there's some tape right here. Mm-hmm. Not bad. Take this out. Got his lungs. Got his heart. His kidney. Guess we're not having all of his little doodads in there, but this is nice. Oh, it's all rubbery. Oh, that's so weird. You go back like this, right? I was never good at science. I hated science. Science classes wasn't... Well, there was one science class where we dissected a, um, a squid. And then it was food grade squid, so after we dissected it on the um, for the school, we actually got to eat it. So we got to eat the squid that we dissected, which was super cool. I was super pumped. I ate the squid and I ate other people's squid who were just too squeamish to eat the squid. But he's super cool. He has a stand. There we go. Yet another really cool thing. You can even take these little forceps and pull stuff out. Uh, I, I kind of figure, trying to figure out how this thing clicks back in. I guess it just sticks there. Oh well. That's my little man. See, he's really cool. Ah. I'm excited. So we got this. We got this little man. And then we got the specimens and we got the little thing. I think this will make some really cute decorations. The fact that it's toys is just really great. And we can just decorate it like so. And we have a nice little sciencey thing which goes really great with the doll apothecary. Doll being toys, apothecary kind of like, um, what is it called? Pharmacy kind of like, ooh, ah. I think that's really cool. So I think it's great. Hello guys, it's now Monday, March the 7th, the day after my launch. I'm really excited. I woke up and I had another sale, so I now have three sales after one day, and that is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Yeah, they weren't the biggest sales, but they were so good. Someone bought 11, which is actually really nice because they're really cheap right now. They're only like less than $3 a piece, so they're going like hotcakes. So I'm really happy. Um, I'm really excited that I even have all the new fabrics that I showed you. Kind of spent $200 on fabrics. Oops. But I'm happy because I got a lot of cool things to mess with. And, this, and I was sewing again after five months. So I developed two new patterns for... Blythe doll. So I'm really excited to start bringing those to my channel. I did three outfits. One of them, I'm thinking of doing a review. What do you guys think about doing pattern reviews? I can't really give it to you because I bought it and it's someone else's design, but it'll be nice to see a tutorial review on a pattern. So I'm thinking of doing that, but I kind of like having just free patterns on my site so people don't have to like purchase someone else's pattern they can just come to my site and know that whatever pattern or whatever tutorial they see for sewing they get the pattern absolutely free so i'm doing that i got those two patterns that i've developed myself i am going to um put them online i was actually looking on different ways of putting things online for people to download one thing that's been getting to me is people who jump onto the channel and just grab the pattern and run. They don't watch the video. They don't interact with me in any way. They don't comment. They don't like the video, which kind of doesn't really support the channel and kind of is rude because I spend all this time developing the patterns and I give it for free and, you know, they're not even going to say thank you. It's like, you got to say please and thank you guys. Um, so... I have found a way to password protect my patterns to help, you know, force the rude people to, 
you know, stop and check and, you know, do things. Another thing that I have done is I have developed an Amazon wish list, which happens to be a lot of the things that I go through while creating these patterns. So I go through a lot of fray check, which is my main source of like money dump. I go through it like really, really a lot. So I need a lot of fray check, uh, marking pins. I tend to go through those a lot. And then I got some things like viola, scissors, uh, stitch rippers, things like that. Just inexpensive things, snaps for dolls, for fabric stuff that I create. Just things that I go through a lot that I really need. So that's just sort of like a nice to have. So I sent out the, I have a wish list to add to those videos, which I think would be really nice, especially if someone doesn't want to like watch the video or someone just doesn't care, or think, but they want to support the channel in some way, or maybe they do all the things that I've mentioned, but they really want to be some, they really want to um, have something more personal. Now that I have a PO box, which is in the description down below, I can now add things for people to ship to me directly. So I'm really excited about that. Um, they could go to, well, they can go to the um, Amazon wish list, especially if they have Amazon Prime, they can ship it to me for free, which is really nice. And I also, if they just want to like create like a gift or something as a show of appreciation, they can also just send it to my, my um, PO box. So I'm really happy to have that now on my channel, just to help people who really want to show support, who want to send some happy mail if they want to show that their support that way. Um, I also have my Etsy channel, of course, if you want to show your support that way. So I'm giving people different avenues to kind of say, hey, thank you. I really appreciate you. Um, thank you so much for the content you've created. Thank you so much for the free patterns. So I'm trying to give people options to kind of support the channel in their own way. Even if they can't, like, even if it's just watching the video, that really helps. And I'm really happy about that because my channel really really isn't the biggest but it's bigger than some of the people that watch it and so i have to be grateful for what i have and so i'm really grateful for everybody who just you know watches and you know interacts with me i really love the people who comment on my on my videos because it really it really gives me some sort of like social interactions with covid i'm kind of alone <laughs> so uh, having someone to talk to, even if it's on the comments section, is just really nice. Um, but yeah, that's what I did all of yesterday. I was super busy because um, I was up way late uh, sewing fabrics because I was on the the high of launching the new video. It is 6.30. I start my job in 30 minutes. Um, hopefully I can say hello during my lunch break. Today has been a long day. I packed five orders. It's day two since my launch. I think I had three orders yesterday total and then two orders today. I can't remember if it was two yesterday, three today, or three yesterday, two today. But I had five orders total and on average there was like seven or eight uh, items I needed to sit down and um, pack. I had to sit there and um, I pulled them out and then well, I printed up the inventory for each order and then I pulled out the fabrics then I made labels for the fabrics I made bolts for the fabrics I made holders these little holders here I, they're like wraps they hold the, the uh, um, fabric together so I made a bunch of those I still have to cut cardboard so that I can have more bolts. I've run out. Oops. I have a bunch of it, I think. I think I have seven. Seven, uh, seven, uh, pads. Well, they're called, like, um, cardboard pads for shipping containment. I use them for bolts, making fabric bolts. So, I did that. Um, I packed them up. I actually have... I took a lot of packages to the mail um, the other day. I took two new ones today. Yeah, so it was two yesterday, three today. So I, I packed up 
for today because I had another person ask for a fabric review box. Speaking of which, I got my in, uh, invoice for all eight, well, all seven of the ones I sent before. And that was a shocker to say the least. I just posted it on my community tab, but it ended up being $208 in shipping. I almost passed out. I had the money, it was mostly for the fabric and uh, the new fabric for the Spring Fling collection that I was going to do. But uh, yeah, so I went all towards shipping. That's fine. I mean, it, it is what it is. I, 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 no use crying over spilt milk. I really enjoy, you know, hanging out and talking with a lot of you guys, especially my YouTube friends and the dog community. So I think it's slightly worth it. I really hope that by sending these reviews out to different channels, it brings in more, more, um, like foot traffic to the site and brings more awareness to my channel. So I think it's it's a good thing. It's a small investment. Well, it's actually a big investment, but um, I think it's well worth it. Um, out of all, now I have eight review boxes out. Out of all eight, there are seven of them are YouTube, and then one of them is an Instagram. And she's actually in the the um, in the state, so that's kind of nice. So I just did all that. I got, I paid off. Well, I I. I set up a payment plan for my invoice because that was fun. Um, but yeah, that was it for that. So it's the next day and I've been up since 4 a.m. Oh well, I did get my last package all packed up, which was nice. I have them just down onto the left of me. I have like five packages that have to go out today, so I'll do that during my lunch break. Ooh. So I'll do that during my lunch break. Um, I have, I've had a lot of time this morning. So I packaged that and then I started editing my vlog for this week and it's starting to get past 30 minutes. So I'm going to try and end it here, but just before that, I like to say thank you guys. Um, it's been a journey this week. It's now the day three since I have launched my shop and I already have six, six of orders. So I am feeling like I'm going to get my, my, my goal of 10 orders this month. So I'm feeling pretty hopeful. I'm really happy. So, I am really excited about that. Um, let's see, what else did I have to say? So, I mentioned before I did start a Amazon wish list. It's something my family does. Um, we, we don't keep in touch with each other's lives all that much. So, um, we, we tend to forget what each other likes. So, I have made the wish list of what I like. Um, and stuff for like, things for like my sewing tutorials, things like toys that I enjoy, like dolls, my cat, and <laughs> I love my cat, and you know, things that are, are there, they're just suggestions, they're not, you know, whatever, it's, it's nothing important, I just thought it would be a sort of fun thing to do. Um, I know that some YouTubers have wish lists, especially the Twitch YouTubers that I follow, and I've bought a couple of things for them, so I thought, eh, whatever, I'll start my own. Um, my family does it, I see people, other people do it, I just didn't think it was that, that big of a deal. So, don't think too much of it, it's just there. Um, and then, uh, what else? Oh, when I was editing this video, I noticed that a lot of, uh, my, at least the, the, what is it called, the, the music, the music, uh, the music montage, um, I actually had to combine some, some stuff for the last two weeks, um, so it's not everything that happened the day before my launch, I, <laughs> I, uh, I decided to throw out last week's video because it's just, it's already the next week and the next week is almost halfway done. So I'm just like, whatever, I'll throw that out. I don't need it anymore. So 
Now I don't feel so bogged down by all these um, videos that I have to do. I have three unboxings from last week that I didn't throw out, so I'm going to keep them and kind of show you guys throughout the week what I had um, got. So that's going to be fun. Some of it is even something that I've bought like six months ago and I'm finally unboxing. Two of them are kind of fun. I got one surprise and then the other is my first um, Clarence find. I love Clarence dolls. I think they're the best. I love thrifty finds. I love all kinds of things. So I'm really excited about that. So expect to see that in the future. Um, <laughs> I... I'm about to start work. I've already started my computer up, but I don't start until 7 o'clock, so technically I'm early. Um, but yeah, I'm just uh, sitting here chatting with you guys. Um, thought I'd say hello before I end this video, so um, now that I've said hello, I'm going to say goodbye. So thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really appreciate you. Thank you. Um, you can show your support by getting to the end of this video or you know commenting and liking the video i really appreciate you and thank you so much for watching if you haven't already subscribed don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content like this bye bye guys bye 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 see you later